Yes. Uh, never think that service is perfect. That that will may keep you in the perfect stage. Yes. We should always think that our service is not complete. Yes. That is very nice. Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught us that he said uh, that my dear friends. Please take it from me that I have not a a pinch of faith in Krishna. Huh? If you say that why I am crying, ah, then the answer is they just to make it show that I am great devotee. Actually, I am not a pinch of love for Krishna. This crying is simply my soul, make so. Uh, why you are saying so? Now the thing is that uh, I am still living without seeing Krishna. That means I have no love for Krishna. I am still living. I should have died long ago without seeing Krishna. So we should think like that. That is the example. However perfect you may be in serving Krishna, you should always know that Krishna is unlimited. Ah, so your service cannot reach Him perfectly. It will ever remain imperfect because we are limited. But Krishna is so kind. If you offer a little service sincerely, He accepts. That is the beauty of Krishna. Salvam of your sadharma satrayati mahatu And if Krishna accepts a little service from you, then your life is glorious. So, it is not possible to love Krishna perfectly, to render service to Krishna, because He is unlimited. There is a process of worshipping the Ganges in India. The Ganges river is considered sacred river, so they worship ah, the Ganges, river Ganges, by taking water from the Ganges and offering it. Suppose in a small pot like this, either pot or your hand food, you take some water from the Ganges and with your devotion and mantra you offer to the Ganges one. So you take a glass of water from the Ganges and offer it to the Ganges. What is their gain and profit or loss or gain for the Ganges? If you take a glass of water from the Ganges and again offer it, so what is the gain and profit of Ganges? But your process, your faith, your love for Mother Ganges, Mother Ganges, I offer you this little word. That is expected. Similarly, what we have got to offer Krishna? Everything belongs to Krishna. Now we have offered these fruits. Ah. Do the fruits belong to us? Who has produced this fruit? Have I produced? Is there any brain of the human being who can produce fruits, grains, milk? Uh, they are very great scientists. Uh, now, let them produce. Uh, the cow is eating grass and delivering you milk. So now, by scientific process, why don't you transform grass into milk? 
still the rascals will not agree that there is God. You see? They have become so rascal. Science. I, what is your science nonsense? You see the cow are eating grass and delivering milk. Why don't you give to your wife and take milk? Why do you purchase? But if you offer this grass to a human being, she will die. So everything, the law of Krishna, law of God is working. And still, they say the God is dead, there is no God. I am God. You do this like that. They have become so rascals and fools. Why they do not come to this meeting? Ah, uh, this Samiji is speaking of God, old things. <laughs> Let us discover something new. You see, and if somebody speaks all nonsense, then oh, he, he, he spoke four hours on zero. Just somebody in Montreal, one gentleman, I mean, he is so wonderful, he spoke four hours on zero. That's such a fool that four hours he wanted to hear on zero. <laughs> what is the value of zero? And you waste your time four hours. After all, it is zero. So people want this. Oh. People want this. If we say simple things, God is great. You are the servant, eternal servant. You, are, you have no power. You are always dependent on God. Just turn your servitorship to God and you'll be happy. Oh, this is not right. So they want to be cheated. Therefore so many cheaters come and cheat and go out. That's all. The people want to be cheated. They don't want simple things. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare.